<laughs> Hi everybody, Robert Jones back in the tasting kitchen with you today and I am excited to have one, two, three, four, five products to try all at the same time, all from the same company. Okay you guys, I have five products to try. This is from Terrapin Ridge Farms. We have five things. I'm gonna do a couple at a time because I'm gonna drop these and that would not be sexy. Hi, how you doing? Robert Jones, glad to see you. Okay guys, I got these laying down here. I hope I don't regret that decision. Hope they don't roll off, but I thought um, it'd be nice if you can actually, there you go, actually see the labels of what we are looking at. So again, we have the apricot ginger teriyaki sauce, marinade and dipping sauce, uh, simple ingredients It says, uh, Tarrapin Ridge Farms. I'm so excited. They gave us so many good things to try here. It's love glaze, love ranch, love spicy. Uh, I love horseradish. Um, I'm a little concerned about the bacon jam. Not concerned, but um, bacon jam can either be really good or really weird. It just depends on how the fibers of the bacon are. So, But let's take a look and let's see what's going on here. So let's see. In here we have, let's see. Can you guys see that? There you go. Ripe apricots, fresh ginger, and robust teriyaki blend together for delicious glaze. Brush on grilled chicken, pork, beef, or shrimp. Add to stir-fry veggies and rice. Perfect sauces for noodle dishes. Drizzle on roast, roasted acorn and butternut squash and sweet potatoes. Oh, that sounds amazing. I love all those. So that would be really great. Let's see. Can we find here? Let's see. 40 calories per one tablespoon. So I'm guessing it's because it has a lot of sugar. And I might be right because the first ingredient is cane sugar. Second, water, apricot puree, soy sauce with water, wheat, soybeans, salt, alcohol, vinegar, lactic acid, cider vinegar, ginger puree, salt, pectin, sesame seed, trying to see it in the light, dried garlic, sesame seeds, period, onion dried, onion dried, habanero peppers, and may contain sea salt, blah, 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 blah. Product of USA, Clearwater, Florida. There we go. So that's kind of, you can hear, I'll let you see the thickness. You can see it glug in there. It's pretty thin. Oh, everybody stay there. All right, let's go for the second one. Here is the Buffalo Ranch. Uh, squeeze garnishing sauce. It says simple ingredients, gluten-free. On the back, it says cool, tangy, butter, tangy, tangy. Cool, tangy buttermilk ranch and zesty, spicy buffalo sauce combined to make this a well-balanced taste sensation. Delicious on wraps, chicken sandwiches, burgers, great dipping sauces for fried shrimp, golden ten what is that say? chicken, fried shrimp, chicken tenders, there we go, and onion rings, again, dealing with the light. Um, Gluten-free, and the ingredients are on the back here. Let's see, 60 calories per tablespoon. Probably high in fat because that's what it is. It's a sauce, non-GMO canola oil, hot sauce, cayenne peppers, vinegar, water, salt, garlic, cultured buttermilk, cider, vinegar. Can you guys see that? Yeah, you can see that. Uh, whole eggs, sour cream. So I'm guessing we need to put this in the fridge afterwards. Oh, I lost my place. Sour cream, salt, cane sugar, water, xanthan gum, spices and spices extract, spice extract. Onion, parsley, garlic contains egg made in USA and milk and eggs. And again from Terrapin Farms in Clearwater, Florida. All right, so that is Buffalo Ranch. And now of all these, this is the one I'm looking forward to the most. This is the Spicy Chipotle Squeeze Garnishing Sauce. It says the same thing. And this has 60 calories. Let's see, canola oil, distilled vinegar, water, salt, soybean oil, orange juice concentrate. Oh, interesting. Chipotle powder, mustard seed, garlic powder, xanthan gum, white wine, citric acid, tartic acids, spices made in the USA. So that's that one. Exciting, exciting and new. All right, let's go for the hot pepper bacon jam. I know we're doing a lot in this one. This is a lot of things. A lot of things. So this is the hot pepper bacon jam. Focus better? Not really. A little bit brighter. There we go. Cheese topper. Cheese topper and condiment. Oh, interesting. Uh, roasted red pepper. Red, oh, let's try that again. Roasted red bell pepper puree, jalapeno poppers, and real bacon combined to create an addictive jam. 
For a quick appetizer, pour over cream cheese and serve with crackers. Use straight out of the jar as a dip. Pairs perfectly with strong cheeses, delicious, delicious served on grilled fish and chicken as a condiment for sandwich. Wrap or panini. Panini. Just looking at it here. All right. It also has a 60, ing 60 calories there. Ingredients. Sugar. Now, it looks like there's a lot here because um, each ingredient has to be spelled out like the bacon, etc. So sugar, roasted pepper, roasted red peppers, jalapeno peppers, peppers with vinegar and salt, so calcium chloride with brine, water, bacon, cured with salt, sugar, sodium, all the things that go into bacon. Okay, we got that. Natural flavoring, pectin, salt, lemon juice, produced in a facility that also produces milk, eggs, fish, etc. So watch out for your allergies, people. And that is also Terrapin Ridge Farms. All right, let's do that so it doesn't roll. And finally, we have our horseradish sauce. Horseradish sauce, gluten-free. Wow, that one's gluten-free, this one's gluten-free. The gluten-free, not gluten-free, not gluten-free. So three of these are gluten-free, that's kind of exciting. Okay, just notice that. Condiment and dipping sauce. This one says, smooth velvety aioli combined with a pungent punch of horseradish makes a classically delicious sauce. Perfect for roast beef, pastrami, corned beef, fantastic sauce for fried shrimp, po'boys, or a dip for sweet potato fries or baked pretzels. Liven up your deviled eggs with a dollop. Everybody want a dollop. Uh, or aromatic and savory sauce. Okay. This one only has 20 calories and, woo, look, far few ingredients. So let's take a look. Soybean oil, corn syrup, vinegar, egg yolks, modified corn starch, horseradish, salt, mustard oil, xanthan gum made in USA, may contain eggs and soy. So that's a lot less ingredients. And... It's a little, it's pretty thick. I don't know if you can see that in the light, but it's rolling around there. But um, it's not like mayonnaise, it's thinner than that. All right, whoo, that was a lot. Let's get to tasting. All right, you guys, let's start with two products at a time because they stack easily and we have two things here. We have the Terrapin, ter is it Terrapin or Terrapin, Terrapin, Terrapin? Terrapin, Ridge, Farms, Hot Pepper, Bacon, Jam, and Horseradish Sauce. So two different sauces I'm very excited to try today. Um, this one is bell pepper paste, bell pepper based with uh, bacon and good stuff. And this one is horseradish and mayonnaise aioli based. So um, I'm excited. Let's try the horseradish one. We also have some apricot ginger teriyaki glaze. And then these two, which seem to go together, the buffalo ranch in squeezing sauce. I like that squeezing sauce, squeeze garnishing sauce. And the spicy, spicy mayo. This is a spicy chipotle, not mayo. Spicy chipotle. So I'm very excited about these. These have been sitting in a box next to my desk. And I'm like, I gotta try them. I wanna try them. I'm so excited. I wanna try them. Um, these are little little bottles. Squeeze, squeeze. Squeeze, squeeze. Squeeze, squeeze. Okay. Um, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna open these up and let's give them a try. I got some spoons. I got some crackers. I'm losing focus. So, I don't know, I'm just feeling like the teriyaki sauce, which I'm taking the top off, take the top off, would be good first. I got Stabby Stabby here helping me. Stabby Stabby. All right, Stabby Stabby. Let's give it a shake as you do, and then, oh, that's a nice sound. Oh, that smells good. Again, this is apricot ginger teriyaki, and I'm just going to put it on a spoon to start with, because... Yeah, I'm just that way. Yes. In a word, yes. Mmm. Oh, that totally hits all the notes for me. First you get the sweet, then you get the spice, then you get the salt. Mmm. That is really good. The ginger is nice. It has a tiny bit of heat. I say I'm in a one or a two. It's definitely fruity. All right. I'm gonna try it on a cracker. This may be a disaster when you, that's, I don't know. This is too thin for that. I'm just gonna try another spoon of it because it's really good. Wow. Oh, it's got that nice tear. Yes, that is really good. I give this like a nine ten, right off the bat, apricot. By the way, this is not a sponsored video. These guys sent this to me to try out of the goodness of their heart. I'm excited to give this a try, but um, they're not paying me. But um, I would so buy this again. Really delicious. It's got a nice umami flavor. Ooh, that's good. All right, let's go for the horseradish. Oh, that opened easily. 
Oh, 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 yes, that's horseradish. Now, I grew up eating horseradish. I love horseradish, so I'm kind of excited about this. So let's just give it a little dip. That's probably too much, but there we go. Mmm, mmm. Okay, starts off sweet. It's got a little sweet to it. There it is. There's the horseradish. Hello. Mmm. Now, I grew up eating horseradish. Our across the street neighbor used to make her own horseradish. And when I say make her own horseradish, I mean she would grind that stuff herself, mix it, put it in a jar, excuse my itch, bring it across the street, and then literally blow your head off because it was so strong. It was so fresh. This, on the other hand, is not that. This is light. It has a kick, but it's not blowing my eyeballs out. It's not like eating wasabi when you're having sushi. It's like a lovely sauce you'd have on your salmon or your fish at a fine Scandinavian restaurant. Mm. It's got a little sweetness. It has a little kick. And it has the aioli smoothness. And it's just, a, wow. Terrapin, I'm kind of impressed with your product so far. That's two for two. Really good. Round for the third. Oh, it opened easily. If you watched the last video, couldn't open the damn stuff. All right. So this is the hot pepper jam with bacon. Oh, the first thing I smell is smoke. It's uh, smoky. Oh, it's very smoky. It smells like smoked salt. You ever use smoked salt? It smells like that. Okay. So it looks jammy. You guys see that? Jammy. It's pretty thick. It's barely moving. All right, so what's in this again? I have to remember. Sugar, roasted peppers, jalapenos, salt. Okay, so peppers are the first. Okay, so it's thick. It's super thick. It definitely is a jam. You can see. That's my jam. It's got some goodies in there. First of all, I'm going to tell you why I was scared of this. Oftentimes I'm scared when somebody says I have bacon jam because sometimes the bacon is in there and it's like little pieces of thread. You know, the meat gets stringy. This is not that. This is jam with bacon flavor. Remember, peppers are a fruit. This is a fruit jam with bacon. And it is absolutely delicious. I want to put this with some cheese and some fruit. That is what I want right now. It says cheese topper. Yeah, there you go. Totally want it on some cheese. Wow, that is amazing. Good job. You know, sometimes you get products, eh, they're not so great. These are amazing. All right, so do I want Chipotle or I want Buffalo? Which is hotter? I'm gonna go for the Buffalo just because I think that the, the, the Chipotle might be spicier. Gotta take the tops off. Take the top off. Jim, Sirianni, if you're watching, that's for you. All right. Here we go. Da -na 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 -na. I'm going to preserve the cleanliness of the lid, and I'm just going to pour it out, even though it has a nice pour thing, a nice squeezy thing. All right. So what do we have in here again? Buffalo Ranch. Hmm. It's very mild. I mean, it's creamy. It has a nice creaminess to it. I think we need a, another taste. All right, don't spill. I was expecting more buffalo pow. It has a little heat. That's a little slowing heat. I can imagine if you put this on a burger, it would be the perfect thing. You wouldn't have to put mayo or ketchup or anything. You just put some buffalo ranch. I guess it does say garnishing sauce. So it's not, you know, something you want to squirt in your mouth. It has a nice flavor. I was just expecting a little bit more. I give it like a seven. It's good, but I wanted more buffalo pow. Now that could just be me because I like really spicy food. It's good. Okay. Finally. We have the spicy chipotle, spicy. Again, I like spicy, so, whoa, I just broke it. Put that back. Unscrewing it because 
safety seal. I'll keep the safety seal. All right, peeling it, putting it, smelling it. Hmm. It smells like honey mustard. That's just my. This is gluten free, by the way. It says adds a smoky kick to salads, burgers, fries, veggies, excuse me, noodles, sandwiches, fish, seafood, poultry, beef. So it just, yeah, it's everything. Terrific as a sauce or a marinade, chicken, fish, squeezed fish, tacos, scrambled eggs. That's pretty much everything. All right. Let's do, a, it's a little thin. I'm going to do another pour. There's a pour. There you go. Mmm. Okay, that one's a better. That one's a bad. That one's a little bit better for me. Let's try it again. I'm very excited. I just want to try them on all the things. I have some sausage in the fridge. I think I'm definitely going to put them on that. Okay, you guys, my battery's running low and I'm excited to tell you about these products, but we got to go. All right, I'm Robert Jones. This is Eudaimonia's Mark II. I hope you enjoyed the videos today. Uh, thank you, Terrapin Ridge, for sending all these goodies out to me to try and trusting me with your product. I hope you enjoyed the video and everybody else enjoyed the video. I'm Robert Jones. This is Eudaimonia's Mark II. Take care. Bye.